today on Cast and Call Outdoors. We're deep sea fishing in the Gulf of Mexico on the real addiction with real time charters. I'm here with Captain Dave Bolin. So, Captain Dave, will you tell me what kind of boat we're taking out today? It's a 41 foot Morgan sport fish. And what kind of motors are you using? Caterpillar diesels. And do you think they run good? They run great. Good. <laughs> um, how many gallons an hour are we burning going out to where we are? Uh, it depends on the speed, but anywhere from 8 gallons an hour to 30. Wow. All right, tell me the game plan. Well, we're going to head out probably about four or five miles to try to pick up some bait and then um, head on further offshore and get into some big snappers, groupers, and amberjacks, what we're, what we're shooting for today. We're leaving the Treasure Island Marina for our deep sea fishing trip with real-time charters on the real addiction. Now if you fish in the Gulf, you need bait. You can buy live or frozen bait at Howl Tackle, you can catch your own, or you can buy some from this floating bait store. He's usually somewhere right around the pass. on the real addiction with real time charges. caught at the first stop was each other's lines, so Captain Dave Bowling quickly told us that it was time to move on to another spot. It's really tough conditions. The current's moving so hard, can't keep the lines down where they need to go, so we're going to try a few more options and get a little closer to shore this morning and um, see if it calms down. Whitney was the first person to land a fish, and man, it was huge! You see that black rectangular hole in the back of the boat? Here's the tip of the day. Wear shoes that can survive getting wet. was a superman on the boat. And every boat needs a math mate. From untangling lines, handling the bait, and taking care of the equipment, to baiting hooks, taking fish off the lines, identifying fish, and coaching the people fishing, to cleaning the boat, and unloading the boat. Math the mate did it all with a ton of energy, skill, and knowledge, and was a very interesting guy. Sand perch, but we call them squirrel fish. 
That is a goggled eye snapper. Stay tuned for more casting call outdoors. Yeehaw! Right. This is 88.3 Way FM. Way to kill you to write a shorter song. much for caring enough to help out and to do something amazing for these kids uplifting upbeat real the gulf coast 88.3 way fm since 1996 lawnscapes of bay county has offered premium landscape design and build services along with commercial landscape management to bay county and the surrounding areas lawnscapes design construction and commercial management divisions all ensure that you will be fully satisfied with your project you can't help but see their trucks and workers all over the area, so call Joe Littleton's staff today to see why they say, our professionalism is proven by our service, our existence is provided by our quality lawnscapes. If you guys love watching our show as much as we love creating it, then you'll definitely appreciate our YouTube channel. We upload each episode on our YouTube channel so that you can go back and watch a nice kill or catch, a devastating miss, or someone that you know. You can also find exclusive behind the scene footage of us on our adventures. <laughs> so before you forget, go to youtube.com, log in or create a username and password, and then search for the Cast and Call Outdoors channel. Then click subscribe for all our episodes, bloopers, and adventures that you don't want to miss. Have you ever waited until it was too late to pull the trigger? Well, analysis paralysis can affect hunters and people saving for retirement. Some people think themselves into a corner or choose to avoid the issue and they're potentially making a big mistake by doing nothing. Deciding what to do with your IRAs, 401ks, annuities, life insurance policies, and investments can be tough decisions. So avoid analysis paralysis and call me. I do business through LPL Financial, the nation's largest independent broker dealer. I'm Captain Dave Boland with Real Time Charters. We do sport fishing four hours on up to overnight. Come fish with us. You can reach us at 850-866-4505 or on the web at www.PanamaCityBeachCharters.com. We're on a third spot, it's approximately 110, 115 feet. We're fishing for some amberjacks, some snappers. Trigger fish, we'll see what we get. Captain's fixing to pull around on the spot for us. Let them down, guys, let them down. I like everybody to drop their lines at once because it excites the fish. It gets them to a feeding frenzy, which we call a rally. And then once that happens, you intermediately, everybody takes turns bringing them up, changing bait. Because if you bring them all up at the same time, it'll do the opposite effect. It'll freak the fish out and they'll stop eating. Bring the hands, turn the hands, turn the hands, turn the hands, get those flat. Are you color? Good one. Good one. Good three. Stop, stop, stop. Ah! Stop. I didn't want to gap him because he's too small. It was a hard fight. Got it right to the edge of the boat and got away, but he still got caught. Take got a jack. Him. He was a tiny jack. That's the reason I didn't want to stick him. He wouldn't. He wouldn't leave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd have to throw him back. You know, yeah. That need to kill him. That's the reason I try to lip hook him. Yeah. Reel it. Turn the handle. Turn the handle. Walk up to this gun. If you can get him slack, he's gonna break that line. We'll fish you with a really light cast guy. So crank on him, do not give him any slap. Yeah, you like that fight with that light tackle, don't you, big man? Don't you, big man? Yeah, 
know what that's about right there. See how it's it's awesome. Real time chargers. Where's that? Yeah. Hey guys, check it out. Real time chargers. Tight lines, ate up with it. Casting calls, trophy stack, all of us out here getting it done today. Having a blast, having a great time. Check them out. Absolutely awesome time. Reeled in that fish. I don't know if I can handle two or three of them in a row. Uh, definitely not the biggest by no means, but it's a workout, but it's worth it. Uh, two or three of them, I don't believe I can handle it. But I try, I try hard. Uh, well, keep your tip up just like this gentleman is. As soon as you feel that hit, just get three or four or five good cranks on him and that, that hook will shut every time. The circle hook, you've got to indent it, keep from getting in their throat and their gut. So when you do this, you're just pulling it straight out of their mouth. Follow your line, bro. Follow your line. Guys, hey, if you get a fish, you got hold of three yards so I can do my job. Fish on so I can do my job! Very good, very good. The current is really going strong and it keeps on tangling up my line, so we're trying to keep everything out of each other's way, which is pretty hard. Who wants it? I want it, sir. I'm Joe Sly, fireman, and I'm simply ate up with it. Please. Hand me that rod and step aside. Thank you, Matt the mate. Another fish on! Good job. Straight up to God. Doing what we love, loving what we do. Thank you. Fine, Sammer. See ya. All right. Good. Fine, Sammer. Just Thank screaming you. for butter. Screaming for <laughs> butter. <laughs> Butter is a trademark phrase that can only be used with permission of Stephen Lee from TrophyStack.com. <laughs> Doubled up. Right. Oh, we got a big one over there. We go. Ride right that lad. Yep. Oh, here we go. Here nice. Right here. Got light tackle. Try to bring him out of the water and he'll break. Casting call outdoors. Red snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey folks, I'm Winston Chester inviting you to watch Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show right here on Fox 28 every morning at 5.30 a.m. Be sure and watch all the latest news in outdoors and fishing and hunting and camping and wildlife photography. We have it all. That's some great sponsors. We give fishing reports and outdoor reports. We actually show the river readings each and every day. So be sure and watch Winston Chester of Panhandle Outdoors right here on Fox 28. Do you ever notice that when you call certain lawn, termite, and pest control numbers, you're calling an 800 number? In most cases, it's because their main office is somewhere other than here. Rock Lawn and Pest Control Services is the Panhandle, and we're located in the Panhandle. This is where we live. This is where we raise our family. This is where we do business. And if there's ever a need for immediate attention, there's a local technician near you. My family has protected thousands of families in the Panhandle for over 50 years. Got bugs? Just call the guys in the yellow trucks. Dr. Butcham and his team at Butcham Orthodontics have been amazing as I started my treatment. My teeth were a wreck in the beginning, and I'm happy to know that I can trust Dr. Butcham and his team to get my teeth straight. The assistants here are so kind, and they treat me like family. They're funny and friendly and have been from the start. All right, what do you think? I know I could trust my friends at Veteran Orthodontics to get the job done easily and professionally. And I love my braces. If you want a beautiful, healthy smile, be sure and contact Dr. Butcham today for your free consultation. Bye, Whitney. Hey, guys. I'm Stephen Lee from TrophyStack.com, and I'm here today to show you how to measure your deer for the Cast and Call Trophy Room. The first thing you want to do is you want to count the points on each side and what we do is we count anything that's over an inch a point. So for example if this were broken off as long as it's still one inch it's still a point. So we have one, two, three, four, five on one side, one, two, three, four, five on the other. Then we're going to measure the inside spread. So you hold the measuring tape at zero on one side bring it over to the other side and play with it just a little for the length of the furthest two distances and on this particular deer straight across it would be 
18 and a quarter, you always want to round to the nearest eighth. Then you get the uh, circumference of the base, which you're going to measure right above the burr there. So you put your tape measure around there. And on this particular deer, it is right at five and a quarter on this side, and right at five and an eight on that side. And as you can see, we're coming just above the burr. So we've got the number of points, we got the circumference of the base on each side, we've got the inside spread, and then you want to measure along the outside rim of the length of the main beam. So come in here, hold it again right above the burr, and you can just walk it along this outside part. And 21 and an eighth on this side and it's probably going to be pretty close on the other. Twenty three and an eighth on that side. So what you would do is you would take those measurements, you enter them in to trophysack.com under a cast and call us group page, and then you would be able to see uh, the measurements of your deer. Now, it's important to keep in mind that we're not giving you a Boone and Crockett score, we're not giving you a Butt Master score, we're not even really giving you a trophy stack score. What we're doing is we're giving you a fun, easy way to see how your deer compares to others in the state, compares to others in the county, compares to others that were killed today, compares to others in the country, but most importantly, how your deer compares to Whitney's. And again, I'm Stephen Lee from trophystat.com, and that's how we're measuring deer in Cast and Call in their trophy room. We're fishing with the guys and girls from ladiesincamo.com, trophystat.com, and ateupwithitoutdoors.com. Oh, red gold. Oh, check oh, it out. Oh, man. Yeah. Fish on, fish on. Don't let it whoop you, Ben. You don't let it whoop you. <laughs> <laughs> That's their stomach. No, that's their stomach. Yep. Yeah. Like a diver, nitrogen builds up in the system. Coming up too fast, there you go. Nice seasickness patch behind the ear, Dad. Let me know what this is. I can see the fish! Right on the bottom, guys. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Pretty good. The cameraman sits out all day and he comes out and just catches all the fish. Reel in, reel in, reel in. Keep those rods on, reel in. It's a cardio burn. Oh, oh, grab that lead weight. What is that? That is a snake fish. But it's a good you. grouper. This is good grouper bait. Usually we don't get them this big. Don't hurt the lead weight. Getting that one. <laughs> White snapper. I'm winding my hair up in this reel. <laughs> All right, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Yeah, baby. Hold that. This little bad boy going in the box. I'd rather have a bunch of these. These are sweet, sweet beans. What is that? Bucks. That is a goggled eye snapper. Looks like it swam over here from Chernobyl. Yeah. My father in law always says this fish was just swimming live in the ocean just a few hours ago whenever we sit down to eat it. It doesn't feel very big, but. Oh! 
commercial grade right there. We got it from us though. That's why you get them over the deck. They fall off, they fall off in the boat. Stay tuned for the big fish on Cast and Call Outdoors and hey, like our Facebook page and get a chance to win prizes. Thank you, real time charters. Catch a big amber jack in Panama City, Florida. You've heard that saying, if you love your job, you never have to work. It's true. I've worked for Brock Lawn and Pest Control for many years. Their commitment to the needs of customers and their commitment to each employee makes Brock a company in which I'm very proud to be a team member. Brock's core values are also mine. Give people more than they expect and always honor your promises. This isn't a job, it's a service that helps people live a healthier lifestyle. Got bugs? Just call the guys in the yellow trucks. Attention business owners, office managers, and employees of locally owned companies. Do you like to save money without sacrificing quality? Then call Bill Woodis at Beacon Accounting and Tax Service if you lease your employees. You may not have the workers' comp coverage you think you have. Your payroll preparation is based on a percentage of gross. Bill can save you money. And if you prefer to deal with local people and not some 800 number. Call Bill at Beacon to save money on payroll. As a father, my job is to love, discipline, enjoy, and teach my three children in order to prepare them for their futures. As a certified financial planner professional, my job is to give financial planning and investment advice to help people prepare for their financial futures. If you would like to work towards protecting what you have, accumulating what you need, or drawing steady income, even with today's low interest rates. Call me today and let's have a no cost, no obligation chat. Now back to the show. Hey, I'm Stephen Lee with Trophy Stack. It's good to be out here on the water today with Cast and Call Outdoors on the uh, Real Addiction with Real Time Charters. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing this one on the website, seeing it on Walter's show. And the grill. Yeah. And the pound of butter that's gonna go on top of it. We're on top of a structure. We are going for some amberjacks right now using big baits. It's the only thing we're running down, so let's see what we got here. About 15, remember after the, you're gonna crank it a few times, then you'll feel the lead lead. 15 uh, cranks after you feel the lead lead. So keep an eye on these two gentlemen right here and some big shit coming. Let's see who starts grunting first. These amberjacks are fun to catch and catch about one that's usually about all you want one good one and uh, it'll usually wrap you up for the day let's see let's see what's home set your handle right about one o'clock that way when it bites you you're not fighting against it drop your tip down beat it to him there you go in that crank stop let him eat it there you go wait, wait. Good 
Good technique, Stephen. Thank you. You're going to end up losing this because he's not holding the rod right. What did I tell you? You always keep it right here. Keep that left hand up front and you keep that tip up. There you go, girl. Crank, crank, crank. You got him off the deck. He's off the deck now. I thought he was about to get to the surface. No, he's off the deck. He's probably about 20, 30 feet up off the deck now. Oh, got about Come on, crank, 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 honey, crank. Don't give him no slack. You got 15 cameras watching you. Don't screw up. Oh, my goodness. Somebody hand me my thing. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, there you go, Brittany. Just stand next to that. There you go. 18 pounds. Hey, girl, give me five. That was awesome. Dad, I can't wait to put this on trophy stack and see how it compares. I'm Wendy Woodrick, host of Cast and Call Outdoors. Thank you, Real Time Charters. There you go. You know, catching red snapper like this is something that's fun and it's pretty unique to the area around Bay County, Florida. Uh, great people to go fishing with. Real Time Charters and our friends from Trophy Stack and our friends from Eight Up With It Outdoors. It's a good day. Turn the handle, let me chase again. Don't let him give you no slack. Turn your left. Ah, oh, you need to get a better gripper. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let me get a quick measurement on it. It is 14 pounds. Here, hold that. When it's like that, you take it, pop it, and it usually just pops right out, but he got it caught underneath his tongue. But yeah, you can just pop the hook out like that. A little trick I learned commercial fishing.